Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Norway campaign for the Medieval 2 Teutonic Expansion campaign. This is turn number eight. And I do believe that there is some pretty heavy fighting that Denmark is having to contend with, so hopefully he won't be declaring war on us anytime soon, which is excellent. Um, An honor to serve, my where was this guy headed? I completely forgot. Yes. I think he... Ah, oh, he's going to reach that in one turn. Serve, no. Because I wanted that. I'm going to actually talk to him and say that I need Uppsala myself. With honor. Be ready to move in and the morning, An honor to let's take fight. everyone here. Your will shall be obeyed. Forming victory without honor is hollow. Yeah, yes, so we have a bit larger of a force than he does, but which is good. Desire, you seek, yes, my lord. Um, I wish this guy wasn't so crap. He's so bad. Yes. I... Is there something I can do for you? Let's just trade some map information. Farewell, then. Without question. Yeah, because there's nothing down here. What? We've got a we just a Danish ship. My lord. What's the strength yes, of this lord. city? Oh, it's owned by I the Teutonic say. Order. The Interesting. Okay. Hmm. We shall not really An honor to serve, my lord. I can't believe there's no mercenaries here. That's pretty ridiculous. Let's just make, make a fort for now. I mean, we have we have some money, so might as well. Nothing to build here. Nothing to build there. Nothing to build there. And nothing to build there. End of turn report. Last overall. So yeah, let's let's mention to Denmark. I don't even know how to spell that city. What was that? And I moved away, so. I mean, if he goes after it, we might just attack him and push him out of the way, but that would probably be my death sentence. But it's all right. It, I, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. I'm just uh, surprised at the lack of mercenaries around here. And I mean, if if he didn't have a general there too, I would try to bribe that army. But I will make them fear you. Very good. Very good. So yeah, I wonder how other people are doing in this campaign. Let's take a look here real quick. Let's take a look at all the factions. So overall, Teutonic Order is number one, followed by the Mongols, and then Lithuania and Poland, very close behind that, and then Novgorod. Uh, let's see, militarily. Is that two tons strongest? Lithuania next, uh, followed by Poland. And then it's kind of a mix. Holy Roman Empire, uh, Denmark, yeah, suffering a little bit. Uh, if we go to territorial ranking, yeah, Denmark actually losing quite a bit of territory. So they're almost on par with me with the amount of cities that they still have. I think they may have lost this territory over here. And I guess that probably the Holy Roman Empire is going after them here as well. And after the Holy Roman Empire is done, he will come and steamroll me for sure. Uh, yeah, not much not much else we can really do about that, unfortunately. I, I wonder in single player if it's a lot more easy for like these guys to, to get persuaded. You. you know what I should do, actually? Uh, wherever the building is to get... Can I recruit any diplomats? Or I can't even get those, I wonder. Uh, if I take a look in the building browser, I wonder if I can even get, uh... Well, 
What does this building do? Increases tradable goods. Is it the town hall? Town hall in a large town. So maybe I don't have a large town yet? Yeah, this is just a, a basic town. So once I go up to the large town, I might be able to get a diplomat and then uh, be able to have a bit more success on taking over these uh, armies because this this diplomat here, this awkward thing, he has like minus influence. So he's like even te more terrible than like a regular diplomat. Could besiege the Teutonic Order's port, but I guess I won't do that. Anyways, not much else we can do for this turn. I mean, this Norwegian hot seat campaign, it's just very short on my end because there's not really much I can do as far as recruiting or uh, attacking anyone. I, I have to pretty much siege people down. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and end it. And send it off to the Teutonic Order. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.